Tonight, you will see extra police on Revere Beach, a necessary move, they say, after the fights and two shootings not far from the beach this weekend. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Revere, and Louisa, it's not the first time we've seen problems there. You know, I spoke with some beach regulars, and they've almost come to expect violence this time of year, but last night reached a whole new level. State police, they are responding. We've seen troopers walking up and down here, and they even put up this caution tape where one of the major fights broke out last night. These apartments that are being built, uh, tourism that's being brought in, uh, high-end restaurants, they're all great to have. But if you don't feel safe in your community, then none of that matters in my mind. Stephen Fiore has some thoughts about Revere Beach. He came here Sunday for a fun day with his wife and two kids. But when he left, it was chaos. This is something that's happening every year for the last five years. It's going from stabbings to shootings. And I guess I'd have to say, scary, what is it going to take? Ocean Avenue in Revere was packed with people and crisscrossed with caution tape Sunday. Just after 7, gunfire rang out two blocks off the beach. Police say it was a large fight and a 17-year-old girl was shot, suffering non-life-threatening injuries. Even as police raced to the area, the violence continued. A second shooting took place on the beach at 8, and a 51-year-old woman was shot in the legs, a 17-year-old boy grazed by a bullet. I shouldn't have to be afraid to take my kids to the beach and be forced to go to another city. By Monday, calm was restored, but state police detectives combed the sidewalks near the scene, and feelings of frustration were shared by other beachgoers, like Warren Johnson and his buddies. And then they congregate here, and then they get together, and then one one group has their group and one group has their, and then they're melting off. State police say they had intelligence that a disturbance might happen and had already increased patrols ahead of Sunday night. Still, it wasn't enough to stop the mayhem. I just feel bad for the elderly people that lived here so long, you know, I mean, that they can't sit here at the evening, hot evening night and don't worry about gunfire. Now, you can see evidence of these increased patrols. And coming up at 6 o'clock, our camera was rolling when a man was arrested right here a short time ago with an open container of alcohol. State police say they have arrested one juvenile boy for possession of an illegal firearm, but it's still under investigation whether that was linked to what happened here last night. Live in Revere, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.